Which one was Quilo? Oh, Quilo was the the little one. Yeah, the Ugnut. Uh, that's the the name. They're the ones that are on Cloud City. Baby, I'm about to bust an, five. an Ugnut. Please don't ruin that. <laughs> I have spoken. God damn it. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Caleb here. And Matt. And we're here to talk about our first TV show? Uncut Gems? Did, no, Did I do it again? Stop. <laughs> Is this our first time talking about a TV show? I think so. Yeah, I was looking at that. There's a little a little scuffy on top of that. Got for it. The Mandalorian, Disney Plus's freaking workhorse. Yes. And I don't know what they're going to do. I would love to see the stats of everyone canceling their membership after this. <laughs> or until they're waiting for... Or a spike in free trials now that the whole series is out, and then canceling right after that. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, it. I think the fourth or third week passed something. It passed. It passed a major milestone as being the most viewed show, That's or the crazy. most sh- viewed streaming service show. Something like that. Basically, it passed 100 mu- million viewers mm-hmm. on like episode three or four. That's. That's pretty nuts. That's a, that's a lot of people. This really has been like a pul- uh, pulk, uh, like cult hit with everyone. Well, yeah, because I mean, you know, John Favreau fucking <clears throat> just outdid himself mm-hmm. with this fucking. John Favreau, you got the dude that was behind the Clone Wars in it. You got a bunch of big names working on it. Uh, um, and I mean, <sighs> Baby Yoda has taken oh taken culture by storm. And how crazy was it that they Society. had? They, just, they probably just took a chance. Well, I mean, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure they knew how big Baby Yoda was going to be, but still, the fact that they made an entire season based around the child, and they it, were just like hoping, it was kind of a game. Not even like the whole season, like the whole show. Yeah, is based a bit. Uh, yeah, because they talk about how in the last episode, are we doing spoilers? We're gonna do spoilers. Yeah, we're gonna do spoilers. Spoilers, <laughs> everybody. Like, net. Nah, there's no way we're there, we're not gonna talk about the same. So, give you five more seconds. <coughs> five. It was actually six seconds. Anyways, so basically how um, in the last episode when Tony the Stark dies. armorer for the Mandalorians was talking to uh, Mando about how he needs to take the child to basically the child's home planet, wherever that mm-hmm. may be, and return him. Yeah. And Just, Really? That's it? I think I called that. I don't know. I feel like probably a lot of people called that. Yeah. But... That might be what season two is about, you know. Or maybe the, just yeah. The journey of trying to find the mm-hmm. <laughs> Season two is going to be getting there, and season three is the battle and Mandalorian drops him in a volcano. What? Lord of the Rings. I, I kinda <laughs> figured that, but <laughs> Okay. I have my fun. Okay. <laughs> and then he just like No <laughs> as he's like slowly falling into it. And then he just Superman's out of it. And then he reunites with um, Princess Leia. I have no idea what's going on right now. The Force. No, I know, I know, but like. <laughs> Just let me have my fun. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I get, I'm pretty sure I'm the. Out of the three of us, I'm the one that knows the least about Star Wars. Anyways. Probably. You were saying? Episode one starts <laughs> out and. Uh, it was kind of a rocky start for because like me, Andrew, and Caleb, or not Caleb, Connor watched it, mm-hmm. and we were having trouble because it was the first night the Disney Plus dropped. Oh yeah, and so we were that was just, a nightmare. We, we got some Chinese food and we were trying to watch it. We just it was saying error, <laughs> and I was just like no, and it kept happening like five times. So eventually we just decided to say fucking started watching The Simpsons, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then before I go to bed we're just like you know fuck it we're gonna try it one more time. It works. We watched it. It's kind of nice. And it was so fucking cool. Mm-hmm. We were just like, oh my god, this is happening. This is awesome. Mm-hmm. This IG droid and the Mandalorian are just teaming up, fighting it. Fucking bad guys. We got that giant ass water creature. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Got the water creature. Got the bipedal piranha looking things. Yeah. Um, whatever those are called. Desert crawlers. Um, that IG unit. Freaking boss, dude. Yeah. Just as to topsy turny work style self destruct no <laughs> self destruct stop it <laughs> stuff is so funny and like that was really off that first episode you could really tell it wasn't going to be as stoic and serious as the trailer looked like it was going to be like you're going to actually see some great personality oh, from yeah, yeah. the Mandalorian yeah yeah and it was awesome yeah cuz like going into it we didn't know if the Mandalorian was going to be a stone stone cold no nonsense not going to talk cuz dude fucking 
bing, bing, not kill the door. And he's like, all right. Yeah. Okay. So this dude gets his fucking butt kicked a lot. Yeah, he's definitely not untouchable. I mean, he's definitely a kick-ass <laughs> fighter and warrior, but... Yeah, he's, he, he's still... He's he's still a mortal. Yeah. A, like, a mortal. Not mm-hmm. immortal, but a mortal. Manda mortal? Manda mortal. Manda mortal. the end of the, epi- the, end of the first episode, the little pot opens up. Boom. Baby fucking Yoda. The world yeah. changes. For fucking ever. Mm. Star Wars It'll can never be, be the, the same. same again. I saw a nice comment somewhere. Mm. It said, we got Baby Groot in 2018. 2019, we got Baby Yoda. 2020, Sonic. Baby Sonic. The, we're getting the babies. Oh my god, that's right. There baby, is baby, baby, Sonic baby. Coming out. That's so dumb. Uh-huh, I, feel like, I feel like they just kind of cashed in on it. Oh, the, the baby craze? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a little tangent, but it's super funny about that. That um, That's a Japanese-specific like TV spot that Baby Sonic was in. It's very cute. He's just running around. And he's not diaper, but he's got a little flowery... I can't wait, dude. Valentine's Day. Let's but we're go. here to talk about Star Wars. Yes, yes. Um, so episode episode one really just like paved the road for how this whole series is going to be. Um, we did have a few more filler episodes than I thought we were going to have. The episodes yeah, were I mean, a lot like, shorter yeah. than we expected. That was probably the biggest <laughs> disappointment was the fact that... It seemed like they didn't have enough for eight episodes no i feel like to they, keep it i feel like they could have made enough that's what i mean like they could have wrote more but <sighs> what they gave us they it didn't feel like they just stretched out a little too much maybe i don't know i, feel, I just i feel like they should have gone more with exactly i feel like they could have made more like story driven stuff yeah because if we we could have taken out the um the water, the crawfish people, yeah, planet one, and the rookie bounty hunter one. Episode yeah. two was nice filler because it, it actually added to the story. Yeah, um, I really didn't care for the. I I, I like the crawfish episode one because it brought right. back the ATST and that was that was fucking cool. How it had the mm-hmm. red eyes and everything. Um, that was a bit of a more of an actiony episode. Um, the rookie bounty hunter one. I forget who the the assassin was right she, she's a bigger actor did, talk- she, did she get killed or captured i forget is she making it because I- yeah the uh the rookie dude shot her oh, that's right he's like i can bring you in dead or alive or something like that maybe i don't know didn't the rookie die yeah i think so i don't know nobody thought, cares about I him yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't really care for that episode <clears throat> a whole lot it was kind of whatever yeah like it it, it, the episode could have been better if there's just like it's just mind boggling that the acting was just not good yeah and then what was, was it episode 3 which or 4 which sucks because that was directed by the Clone Wars guy yeah was it episode 3 or 4 where Mando brought the baby in or no Mando turned the yeah he turned the baby in and then was like you know what this was a mistake so he takes the the uh, the, the, uh, the correct the the blocks of metal that he gets from the payment. Right. Imperial credits. And then he gets his new this forged is very armor. Unusual for a man of your dream. And then basically just goes back into the compound and just fucks shit up. See, that's the problem when you can turn your money into armor and come back and just. It's like buying a But gu- it, it also <clears> just <throat> kind of like showed, you know, who Mando was as a character. Like he, <coughs> within a very short amount of time. He's got a heart. He's, he's got a heart and he mm-hmm. actually formed some kind of, you know connection with his baby Yoda mm-hmm. and he felt guilty about what he was doing and he right. knew that it wasn't right because what was his his motivation at the beginning of the season was to get money and give it back to the guild I think so and then so it kind of sucks for him that it is like the poetic justice that like he risked the guild to protect baby Yoda because at the end the guild is dispatched we don't know What's yeah. up with them now? Yeah, the armorer says that some of them escaped, hopefully. Some of them mm-hmm. are hopefully off planet. And is that the only guild that we know of? Are there other ones on other oh, planets, I'm sure maybe? Other ones. Hopefully. Maybe not on other, like a lot of planets, but mm-hmm. there's probably still a few spread out. Right. The Mandalorians are way too cool Yeah. No. To, to be dropped off. But I mean, hey, Gina and Pedro, go at it. Make some more Manda babies. <laughs> yeah. 
man because as we babies. learned the mandalorians um aren't a race or a culture they're it's a, a creed. creed that was dude like this whole time since the trailer came out to that episode it's like we finally got a good word for it yeah creed is it a race is it a religion is it a planet it's still kind of fuzzy though because like in the clone wars show uh you know they have their own planet called mandalore they are referred to as mandalorians but they're just you know regular common city folk but then there are like you know the mercenaries and the extremists mm-hmm. so it's just like dude i could get like a whole movie just on the mandalorian planet yeah. with like extremists and whatnot going at each other yeah dude I mean, the bounty hunter game war. was really cool because it, it followed Django fett basically leading up to the events of episode two mm-hmm what, where does this leave us, like, as far as, like, theorizing? Is it still... It was canon that Boba survived, and then the no, extended well, universe was made not canon, but now some of the extended universe is now canon? I don't know. Are They're, like, picking and choosing, right? What's uh, canon? I, maybe. I'm not really sure. Because the blue dude is now canon? The blue dude. Oh, uh, Admiral Thrawn? Yeah. Yes. And he was originally extended universe stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, and he's been brought into Rebels. <coughs> So yeah, it's it's Star possible. Wars is a fucking mess right now. It's beautiful. I love what they're doing. They're bringing right. new shit in. They're bringing new shows in. Season two of Mandalorian has been confirmed for fall 2020 release on uh, Disney Plus. That's fucking awesome. John Favreau is returning. So is Pedro oh, Pascal. That's really. <laughs> if Pedro wasn't coming back, that'd be a. Well, I mean, obviously. Yeah. Um, it's. Oh, I've been hearing a lot that like everyone's getting a sense of like Disney finally has like a plan for Star Wars like where with this last trilogy we didn't feel like they had a plan I think Andrew's been saying that George Lucas is always the one that has been saying that Star Wars belongs on TV oh yeah yeah he says that a lot yeah and after dude the first five minutes of the last episode yeah like we need more conversations like that and, and you're not gonna get that in a movie cause you need as much important stuff in movies cause you can. like what the, the thing with movies is like they try to make it they have two and a half hours at the most most times to <coughs> try to make it seem like it's a well-rounded movie right with tv you can do that by having you know a good story in some episodes and a lot mm-hmm. of action in other episodes right so i don't know i really hope season two has longer episodes because that would just be amazing mm-hmm. more stories to tell more action more lore more backstories more character depth right um Dude, yeah, we a lot of character depth, and just explore, just little pieces of the Star Wars universe. It's l- arguably the biggest cinematic universe. Like so many planets, so many civilizations, yeah. Plan, uh, solar systems, just the characters you can explore. Yeah. The MCU doesn't have anywhere near Harry Potter. Nope, not nearly as much. Like, there's just so much you can explore. They could literally just make a series about. Jawas, yeah, that would sell. Sand people, that people. There's a a group that would love that. As long as you have Star Wars on, somebody will always watch yeah. it. Yeah, I'm that person. Exactly, and it's gonna be something cool. Yeah. Uh, but don't stop. The idea of movies. I want a General Grievous movie. If that's the last one, okay. <laughs> um, but we're getting a Kenobi show. Yeah. Um, I've also heard. This is a rumor. Hello there. Luke Skywalker, a young Luke Skywalker, is supposedly supposed to be cast. Okay. And here's the thing. I saw this on TikTok. I know it's it's, it's cringy. Is Mark Hamill going to be his acting coach? He might. That'd actually be a really decent idea. Mm-hmm. They they were talking about it on the on the video that there's one person going around that they think would make a perfect fit for this young Skywalker. The guy that played Solo. No. <laughs> Better. Somebody that we all really like. He was in the Marvel Universe. Oh. Ooh, ooh. You get, but now, hang on, hang on. So. Yeah, don't say his this, name. This person has been, you know, tossed around and everybody's on board. The, mm-hmm. Like Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill's on board with it. I think this is what they said in the video. I don't, it's not a, it's not a spokesperson from Disney or anybody related to them mm-hmm. or anything. It's just, you know, it's all just rumors floating around the internet. So you just take it at, you know, with the. Grain of salt. Yes. <sighs> Supposedly. Sebastian Stan is the man to be cast. Ooh, ooh, I could see that. Uh, and there, they did a uh, picture by picture 
comparison. Wow. You couldn't really tell the difference. I'll try to look one wow. up and see if we can post one to Twitter. Yeah, just just put a wig or dye that hair. Because he also had a little, uh, uh, oh, Sebastian Stan, Luke Skywalker's the fourth thing. <laughs> it's getting some buzz. Watch it be confirmed, like, while we're recording this, or right before. Dude, that's insane. Everyone at home, just Google just, yeah, Sebastian Stan. So if you're watching Stan. this, Sebastian Stan, Luke Skywalker should be, like, the fourth thing. Wow, let me see that again. That's insane, dude. Not, that's, not an exact replica, but... That, that might be shopped a little bit. Yeah, but I maybe. mean... You know, Sebastian Stan's got that butt chin. Mark Hamill's had that chin. butt chin. They've both got, like, that long, linear uh, jawline. <laughs> In the eyes. The eyes. Wow. Yeah. And the hair. Dude. Dude, you know you made it as an actor when you're in the MCU and the star... Uh, S-T-U? <laughs> no, S-W-U? That's T-U. S-W-U is harder to say. Star Wars universe. That's cool. Oh. Wait, so what is that for? A, a, a young Luke? For what? Uh, For the Open One Kenobi show. Oh, it's going to be... Duh, it's going to be Obi-Wan in between three and... Four, right yeah uh so oh this was quite a so this was a while ago um uh, the just real quick uh article from november 16th 2017 blah 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 um sebastian stan has confirmed that he uh would like to play that he'd be down to play uh famed fire boy turned jedi knight luke skywalker in a future star wars film mm-hmm and while this casting might seem like nothing more than fandom mashup, gobbledygook to the untrained eye, the Sebastian Stan looks like young Mark Hamill. Train has been chugging along for longer than you probably realize. So I think this actually has been going on for quite a lot longer yeah. than 2017. I mean, this could be Sebastian Stan's Deadpool. <clears throat> yeah. I mean... I'm just kind of looking... Cool. These are all... I'm just seeing a lot of articles from 2017, but... <laughs> you know... Ewan McGregor fucking kept the Disney... Or the Disney Plus... Obi-Wan show quiet for four years, so who knows? Sebastian Stan might be a young Luke Skywalker if Luke Skywalker is actually in the Obi-Wan show. I I have faith. I think they learned their lesson after this last trilogy. And the the two movies. But the thing is is like how do you how do you work into it that Obi-Wan is gonna be in the same like area as Luke Skywalker if Luke Skywalker has never met Obi-Wan until episode four? Right, maybe yeah, that's the thing. We're probably gonna see Sebastian like one season at the end of the series. Like we're like Oh. Yeah, this episode four now. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Dude, what if Star Wars just does slowly? It's just you got these big movies are giant puzzle pieces. And then these shows are just like the little puzzle pieces in between. And we're just, everything's getting filled up. And then 100 years from now, just boom, this big picture. And we can just watch the whole thing. You know? Yeah. Like all the spaces in between. Yeah. I, I, I don't trust Disney to do that, but here's, fingers crossed, optimism. Yeah, uh, I mean, I feel like, you know, they've kind of learned their lesson from a lot of the backlash that they've received. Hopefully. 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 Um, anything else with Mandalorian? Um, Music is amazing. Yeah, oh my God. Freaking Ludwig Gorenson. Dude is going strong. The, uh, <coughs> the visual effects were awesome. The fact yeah. that, like, they were able to bring, you know, movie-sized budgets to a TV show. So good. It looks like a movie. Every episode looks like a movie. The ships were awesome. Mm -hmm. The combat was cool. The characters were amazing. The mm -hmm. suit designs and the character designs and just amazing. Mm -hmm. um, oh, my God. The cliffhanger at the end for the, the villain. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Psh. Yeah. With his little uh, black sword. Um, black I was sword telling Caleb about this because... Um, the Mandalorian, I can't, I think it's the Death Watch. I'm pretty sure that's what the group name of the the Radical Mandalorian Ooh. group in Star Wars The Clone Wars that is on Mandalore. I'm pretty sure that's what they were called, Death mm -hmm. Watch. Um, don't quote me on that. It's been a while since I've seen the series. Um, but he did have the same saber as the Death Watch. Okay. Also, the fact that he's Said like something they, like that. Yeah. Also, the fact that they brought a moth, a moth Gideon into this universe—not the fact that it's you know moth Gideon, whoa—but mm -hmm. a moth. 
Yeah, because like we never like you know we have we've had Grand Moff Tarkin, mm-hmm. we've had um, was it just General Hux <coughs> of the First Order? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, so I don't know what the fuck that was, but anyways, Moff. But then there's just, that dude above him in yeah. Episode Nine. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. That Moffs goes. are basically just you know for a lot of you know what Moffs are and stuff, mm-hmm. but they're basically just like you know higher up generals, right? So and it plus, was just it was, was cold. Sorry, wasn't Tarkin like even had he superiority was, over Darth Vader? Yes. So like, Moffs are a big deal. Well, he was a Grand Moff. Right. So Moffs are on the level of Darth Vader almost, if not the same level. Like either Moffs could be below Vader or with him or above him technically. Like yeah, I think it would Grand go Moff, Emperor, Darth, Grand Moff, Vader, rest of Moffs, mm-hmm. and you know I mean we had. You know, the fact that they introduced a moth was... It was pretty damn cool. Dude, that could have been the thing. Darth Vader could have been, like, there's a Yoda out there. But this is after episode six. Oh, duh. I, so, I, I always get confused with stuff. Yeah. I mean, maybe Vader's alive. Palpatine was alive. No, it's not. Open no, that he, can of he got, he got, Yeah. He was torched. He... What's up? Whatever. He was Whatever. cremated. Uh, yeah. I Yeah, I... Whatever, I haven't seen episode six in that. Yeah, how, sure. how long? I've seen it once. I've seen every Star Wars movie once. I had a marathon through everything. I'll do it with you. Okay, let's do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, this has been this has been fun. Uh, yeah. Oh wow, we've been talking about it for a minute. Yeah, that's kind of you know eight episodes. Yeah, this also is we kind of basically three it. movies. Nah, these are short episodes. Two, three movies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do be on the lookout. We do want to do a lot more shows. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. Yeah, uh, we're going to be doing Witcher. We um, finished Watchmen. Watchmen. That's going to be the next we're one. We have a Watchmen uh, video coming out soon for those of you who watched that mm-hmm. on the HBO. We just got the second set decoration right there. Yeah, right behind us. Um, what else have we watched? Uh, <laughs> we're, we started The Boys forever ago, stopped ep- ep- episode four. Yeah, we need to watch that. Yeah, we're going to finish that. Chernobyl, you said Witcher. Um, his darkest materials looks good. Uh, we'll we'll try out episode one. If it's actually not that good, then maybe we won't watch it. But like it, James McAvoy, that's enough for me. I didn't know he was in it. I might give it a try then. Oh yeah, you do. He's got some luscious hair. He's got like a cool like pilot jacket. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's got a polar bear and X twenty three. It looks good. Oh, the the kid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh shoot. Yeah. What is all? The, uh, there's. Oh. My hero. We're definitely going to be talking oh, about my hero. Oh, my hero. Uh, like, dude, this last episode we watched, The Million. <sighs> like, that That was some inspiration. Yeah. That, that was that was great. Like I said, every cool character in this show has blonde hair. Yeah. And yeah, inspiring Fred moment. Yeah, Gum has been turned out to be an amazing character in that last episode. <laughs> and not just a comedic relief yeah, character. Yeah, he actually kind of stepped up and did something. Dude, we haven't seen All Might in a while. Yeah, I know. We haven't had like a dude. Well, we already got the preview for the next episode. I was, um, I was gonna say, what if they do what they did in season three, where when um, Boss Orc comes out, and like, oh my god, I can't wait for next episode. It's a filler episode. I would hate if they did that. Right? They can't do that now. They already gave us the preview. There's no way they could do that. Yeah. Uh yeah, but yeah, we got we got a decent list. We we definitely have to sit down. And yeah. Iron it out because if the, a few of us have been watching things out of order so we're gonna get things ordered out get our thoughts schedule some th- 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 something sucking suck a test yeah um it's gonna be great it's, if you stuck around for this entire thing mm-hmm. we appreciate it we appreciate you we love you yeah this is the end of the year guys yeah we're fil- we're currently filming this at 7 32 p.m at yeah t- on the new year's eve yeah 31st end of a decade yeah so we're gonna be run out of the gate of 2020 and we're gonna hit hard. We're gonna do a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get it going. Yeah. So yeah, be on the lookout, guys. We Super fucking excited. love you. We fucking love you. We Can't started this enough. year. We had one subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> we're ending this year with what is the final count? Seven sixty-four, I believe. Yes, as of seven thirty-two p.m., That's we have seven hundred and sixty-four subscribers. If you're new to this channel, just hit that subscribe button. Make our fucking day. Make our fucking year. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. This is Caleb. And Matthew. Bye.
We love you. Right, there you go for the Palpatine. Oh, we love you. <laughs>